This is the boogie man. Oh bro. my god. The boogie man. Oh, I'm telling you right now. Okay. Now, wow. this is funny. I have to say this. This is 2015, so we do not even look the same. I put James in here because I love you, James. Uh, James and uh is that your friend Alex? I <sighs> Wow, I can't I you know, I'm gonna say this, folks. The best superstar we ever met. Watch. Watch yeah. how he inter interacts look how with me. Man. James looks. Yeah, James looks. Like, <laughs> look, he's talking. He's interacting. interacting. Yeah, he's doing picture. I mean, I'm telling you right now, Boogeyman by far was the best superstar I have ever met. Look the, at him. He's the, the real deal. I mean, he. My dad. Look, that's my my dad. My dad's so excited. Yeah, yeah. My dad was just look, like, he's wearing the yeah, he's wearing the hat for, for. My dad was just looking at my dad. My dad's like so excited. We like, we like the boogeyman. That was a good picture. This guy's but, a ten out of ten superstar. I mean, this guy is so. I, I he's. We met him at the bar too. And he, I, okay, so I when mean, we're at, when we're at the I bar, just, buddy. If you're watching this, I love you. You are such a beautiful soul. Like you're so good to the fans and like. I just, I love you. Look You're, at this. Look at this. Yeah, look, I mean, just I was amazing. Like, grab my throat. Ah! It's amazing. It's just amazing. Like, uh, what a guy. Ah, yeah, he's he was he is so, so crazy. good. He's so. I mean, I felt special. Yeah. Like I felt special. Like just what a guy. I mean, look, just you know. I couldn't get like. Oh, you like forgot to this cut was, out. This was really, really um difficult at the time. We were just learning how to figure out our camera skills. So like. That I, I was trying to get more. I have Kyle, a good but, picture. I have yeah, a good picture though. I think that we were using Kyle's phone too. Yeah. So uh, we did our best with the filming. Yeah, no, no, but, I think um, we got more because I do. I have that picture. Just in general, like, like yeah. Boogeyman was so cool. Yeah. He was so cool to us, and uh, so when, nice. when we were at the bar, when <laughs> I saw I saw some guy sitting there, I'm and like, you knew. I'm like, you knew. I, I'm like, that guy, his face, everything. That guy is the Boogeyman. So what I did was I I said, hey man, I um. Or no, Kyle. Kyle walked up and said, like, anyone ever tell you look like Boogeyman? And he's like, ha, ha, ha. I get that all the time. <laughs> Same voice and everything. And we're like, that was the guy. And so, we, and so when we met him here, I said, hey, we'll see you at the bar. And he said, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think that's why he was being so nice. But, I mean, what a guy. I mean, my dad was so excited. But also, um, look how good he looks when he hasn't, he hasn't been on TV for, I mean. I oh, mean, yeah. yeah and, that's thing. I, and I'm going to say this. I, I'm gonna say it. Shame on WWE. Boogeyman is such a talent and such an entertaining factor that the fans love him. Yeah. They love him. They the 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 element. He was the fiend before the fiend. I and love they him more than the fiend. And yes, and they underutilized him. He was in great. Look at it. Look at the shape he's in. I look at I mean, the character. But look how many people are there. I yeah. mean, I, 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 it's hard to get the crowd. I mean, but he got dressed up for the meet and greet. The only other thing Full that could have made this 11 out of 10. That. Kane didn't do that. Yeah, I was just about to say when we met Kane, he was just like, what's up? Like, T-shirt He's a nice blue guy. Jeans. He's a nice guy. I talked to him, but. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, he addressed him as Glenn. He was, you know. And, yeah, uh, yeah, no, really he, cool. I just, it was. But it's not the same. Like, I wanted to meet Kane with the thing that, I mean. And with this, yeah. he's like, I'm full costume, yeah. full character. Yeah, just a, what, I mean, what this a... This is who I am. What a talent. I mean, there, this is a guy that really, in my opinion, should have had, like, a minimum, an intercontinental title run of some type, uh, even maybe a run at the the, the world title. I, uh, you I know, don't know. Um, I'm not, because it was so long ago, I'm not familiar with what titles he may have never, held. Never. Nothing. Really? Nothing. Nothing. You know what That's the problem, is that what his, per what happened was, is that, I don't. I, I. My theory is is that someone backstage, in creative, kept putting him in uh, role. Because I remember the Booker T angle with Charmel. He would randomly keep appearing, and then they did an angle where he would keep appearing with Charmel and Booker T, or King Booker. King yeah. Booker. King Booker. With, you know. Um. So he that he kept appearing, and I think they they kept doing that so much. That that became his stereotype Stale. in wrestling, just just showing up randomly and scaring people. But it was I don't, good for a bit, but they didn't work him in anything. But I have a theory. I have a theory that he tried multiple times, and hopefully he comments on this video and says, "Yes, I actually did." 
to get them to let him show his talent in the ring and be more creative and do a fiend style character because if anybody could have done better than Bray Wyatt, better, folks, I'm saying this yes. unequivocally, who could do The Fiend better, it was Boogeyman. Boogeyman is somebody that is a Hall of Famer, we know this, but he will go down as one of the most underutilized talents in WWE history. Absolutely. Um, this man should, like you I know, said, minimum, minimum, had a couple runs at the Intercontinental title uh, instead of not saying here's the thing. at the very least a tag team you know who Some, should have tagged with gold dust yeah exactly that's what i'm saying something but i like booker team gold dust yeah 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 I like oh Thunder yeah that Rose was that was that, that was oh, that was great gold that was dust, gold. we love you yes this is um, awesome but gold dust and Bo a boogeyman would have been hilarious yeah yeah it would have been fantastic and that's the thing is that boogeyman was also kind of funny so it would have made sense he, yeah um but they yeah he had no title runs and it, it's not i'm not saying his character was a joke, but the fans knew he had talent, but they never took him seriously. The fans, and it was never a disrespect towards him. It's because they only ever saw him in one type of angle, and that was showing up randomly. Yeah. And no, it's true. Well, you know, um, with the Bray Wyatt angle. Obviously, I'm not talking about his early stuff. Yes, he did wrestle earlier when he had the clock and stuff, but that was very brief. Oh, and, yeah. and you take his whole career into scope, that was very brief. And that's the thing is that that wasn't, I'm not saying that that didn't happen, uh, but it was a very brief time for Boogeyman. Like, it was funny, the clock time, but it was a very brief time in his career. And I wish they would have explored it, you know, um, because just what a guy. What a good person. I didn't get, I didn't. I love this guy, Malcolm. I really, I think he is such a just. Yeah. I mean, this is a guy that I really. We were so excited because we thought we oh, would never ever see this guy no, in wrestling ever never. again. I never thought I'd it's meet not him. him. It's the business. Yes, we thought the business was like, oh, this guy doesn't matter. Yeah. Screw it. And when I yeah, and so when I saw him, I was uh, right away. We were, even my dad, my dad was like, oh yeah. My dad was like, the boogeyman. Yeah. Are you serious, yeah. my, like? Mike? I'm so happy that you yeah. got to experience this with us because that was really cool. God, you do look so different. I know. Look, <laughs> ah, uh, uh, the camera adds 20 pounds. <laughs> so is the beer. No, he's like, he's like, so tiny. But yeah, this was like six, what, six, seven years ago, 2015. Yeah. And that's the thing is that, you know, I hope you watch this. I hope you understand that fans like us, we understand the trials and tribulations. We understand the politicking that happened behind yeah. the scene, why you didn't get the push. Who buried but, him? That's what I want to know. Well, yeah, him? I mean, that's the question is who, you know, who at the company. And I mean, I want to say Vince, but that's the thing that's uh, weird. Why, why but the, why, why but, this seem, but this seems like a Vince type character. Boogeyman seems like a Vince type character. Absolutely. And that, yeah, this is a, yeah, this is up Vince's alley. So I, I want to say it was Hunter. Hunter, Stephanie said no. And it's sad. But the worms was kind of weird. But the they worms kept was doing part it. Of the... They kept. They were the ones that pushed it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm. I guarantee you if you ask Boogeyman, hey, who came up with the worms? He would say hey, it wasn't me. It was someone else. He probably made a statement like I wouldn't mind eating worms, and they took that and ran with it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I would have liked to have seen more. I think that he could still wrestle right now, 100. percent And I think that uh, hey AEW, take him in, make him something, because WWE won't touch it. But well, they, they do occasionally. Him, they they have yeah, him Rumble. They have him Sometimes under. I'm sure appearance. they have him under a contract right now. Yeah, I'm sure they do because they understand that Boogeyman is a is Boogeyman a, versus Fiend. They get you know, yeah, because he stays in great shape. Boogeyman versus That's Fiend. The there thing. you go, a million dollar match. He see, yeah, he he stays in great shape. Like this yeah. is a guy. Like when you. Go back, folks. If you go, oh, what kind of shit? Go back and look. Like he, ha dude, he has a six pack. Like he's huge. On the video, you can he's see the big. Six -pack he's a too. big man. I mean, so this is a guy that you know. I believe he can still wrestle today. You know, when he grabbed my face it was actually terrifying. Of course, I know he couldn't do anything. But but... Because remember, this is he just came out. It's the eyes. His eyes. And it was so cool because he just came out. And uh, I really like this. We've been friends with James since. Uh, this yeah, time. that's our buddy James. We may, have, we may have actually just met him right. Yeah, here. we did just meet him. And, and I it's believe the first it, time we met James. I think we met tattoos on his arm. Yeah, I think we just met James. Fun Little. fact: our friend James here, he got Paige 
Paige's autographed on his hand, went immediately to the tattoo shop and got it tattooed on his hand. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. You can toss in the picture while you're editing if you want, but yeah. that's that's the picture of it, folks. Yeah, but we love um, you to death, James. Yeah, we love James. James is awesome. But yeah, a great talent. Somebody who is going to go down in the Hall of Fame. Somebody that will be remembered forever. Um, and somebody that is, uh, I am dubbing right now the most underutilized talent in 100%. WWE history. And I hope that because you still do have a career, I hope the rest of your career is fruitful. And hopefully you get that title that you deserve somewhere. I don't care where it is. Yeah, I love you, my very, friend. At the very least, you'll live on, live on in our hearts forever. Yeah, man. you're a kind man. Thank you for being so kind to us over the years. So